11 donuts for the price of four dollars this was probably would you say was this the best deal that we've gotten so far it's the most food that we got one more i'm off the stuff for good all right It is the holiday season, everyone. Happy holidays. And you gotta save all your money for gifts for your friends, your family, your girlfriends, boyfriends, your kids. Do y'all have kids? Anyways, you guys don't wanna be spending hella money on food. And you sure as hell don't wanna cook. I do make a mean instant ramen with hot dogs and a side of Pop Tarts, though. But you can't eat that every day. Hey, yo. So I came across this app that allows you to order food from restaurants for the low. We talking under four or five dollars cheap. Basically, this app allows you to order from restaurants right before they close and they give you a surprise bag full of goodies for the low. Because these restaurants don't want to waste food. They just end up throwing away these foods at the end of the day anyways. I sure as hell don't condone that type of behavior throwing away food. It's like when you go to Dunkin Donuts right before they close and they give you some donuts for free because they end up just throwing them away anyways. Seven days I'm gonna order from the Too Good To Go app. Yeah, I'm gonna try it for a week from seven different restaurants and see what I get. This will be a good way to support local businesses too. And I get a cheap meal, so it's a win-win. By the way, I've never used this app before and this is not a sponsored video. I'm just genuinely curious. But hey, if one day they wanna sponsor, email me at fakefoodreviews at gmail.com. Without further ado, let's order. All right, we're gonna open the Too Good To Go app. We're gonna go check to see what's on it, what's available. As you can see, they got groceries, vegetarian surprise bags. You can pick stuff up now, baked goods, but what we want is meals. I'm hungry as you can see on the left side it's got the amount of bags left you can see people been already ordering because I mean this is dumb cheap as you can see the price on the right side $4.99 you can see even here $3.99 for some places so these are dumb cheap but I'm super hungry so I've been craving Brazilian barbecue so we're gonna go gauchos Brazilian cuisine I've never eaten here but it's got five plus bags left so you know I'm guaranteed a bag I don't know if that vouches well for the spot because people aren't ordering here but anyways it's got 4.5 out of 5 stars three highlights great amount of food great value delicious food i don't know if you pay now or you pay later but we're gonna reserve a bag right now it says your bag will be a surprise we can't predict what will be in your surprise bag as it depends on what the store has in surplus if you're concerned about allergens or ingredients please ask the store okay got it as you can see one quality reserved now as you can see it's got the apple pay so i guess you pay now just like that good to go all right so we're at our first location on the first day of trying the too good to go app we're at gaucho's brazilian cuisine we're about to pick it up this is as closed at 8 p.m oh no no oh hell no what the okay so um they closed they, they have like some party or something but like we already paid so i don't know if i can get my five dollars back <laughs> So um, we went there and two people told us that they had an event tonight, so they're not doing it tonight. So um, too good to go at fail. <laughs> they were nice about it. They said, you know, come back tomorrow because they were doing an event tonight and then they'll give me a free meal. Well, not really free. I already paid for it. And another lady just showed up and she did the same thing with the same app. They told her the same thing. All right, yo, because it was closed, we had to make an audible and go to the next spot. Luckily, there was a place five minutes away. Alfredo's Italian Kitchen. Now, I was in the mood for Brazilian food, but Italian food sound good too. So let's check it out. And it was only $4. I saved money. Woo! I just picked it up. I just swiped on it. Hi, order of this app. Yeah. You want a over there? Over there? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We got Alfredo's Italian Kitchen from the Too Good To Go app. Four dollars, three ninety nine. And this is a fat slice of pizza. Oh, they gave us the calzone. How much would it normally be for one slice? Two seventy five. Two seventy five. But then a calzone. Only worth your four bucks. Fat slice of pizza, then you get a calzone. We're gonna break open this calzone. I haven't had a calzone since middle school. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, all right. It looked like it got some cheese, some meatballs, sausage in there. Everyone likes Italian sausage. I'm an expert on sausages: Italian sausage, Chinese sausage, American sausage sausage whatever you want i'm in that i thought they was gonna give me a slate of pasta some fettuccine alfredo but you know i'm not complaining this is still a good deal there's mozzarella cheese and sausage now i'm gonna take a slice of this giant pizza do you fold your pizzas no you don't fold your pizza all the people back home who dab their pizzas with napkins especially the person behind the camera get the grease off stop being a baby eat the pizza that's a solid slice of pizza. The crust in the bottom is crispy, thinly crust. I like a thin crust unless it's Chicago deep dish pizza. $3.99, this giant pizza in the calzone. That's a good deal. This will definitely fill you up. For $3.99, you will be filled up. 
I'm a simple man, really. Just a man and his $3.99 Italian food. Guys, loves a pizza and a big ass calzone. Life could always be so simple. Your boy's full. Now we gotta wait till the next day, but with the magic of editing, we're gonna go to the next spot right now. Try to get this Brazilian food. Let's see if we can get it this time. All right, I came by the other day to pick up food from the Too Good To Go app, but you guys had a employee party, and some guy with the hat told me to come by another day. I'll show you the order. You can bring your brother. It was jumping in there. I feel like every night they got music playing, live music playing. They were really good about it. They gave us an extra one to make up for the lack of communication. Heavy as shit. It's like a lot of food in here for five bucks. Second day trying the Brazilian spot. Oh, there's an echo in here. We're under an igloo type thing. Build that, please. It smells freaking good. Okay, okay. One thing about this app, I will say, it kind of like messes up from time to time. It doesn't really give the restaurants the option to say that they're not available for that day. So one plate, we got the rice. It comes with peas, carrots, corn. We got a Caesar salad, mashed potatoes, beans, and braised beef. This one comes with the same rice with the corn, carrots, and peas. Beans as well. More corn, Caesar salad, but no mashed potatoes. Try this beef real quick. Mm, boom. Mashed potatoes. That was good mashed potatoes because they buttered that shit up. Made me want to speak Portuguese. So the thing is with this app, you can't really pick what you want. They just give you whatever they have left. But for the price, $5 for all this food, you really can't complain. That's a good deal. This is enough for two meals. I'm not gonna lie. Nothing like getting $5 leftover Brazilian food on the second try and an igloo outside with these lights. That's definitely unhygienic to be in. Mm. Mm, made me want a samba. eating under an igloo to eating under a giraffe vibes. They closed. Yo, this is the second time we went to a restaurant using this app and they're closed. I feel like there should be like some sort of like thing for these restaurants to update the app on if they're closed or not because this is the second time it's happened and we're left without food. So too good to go app fail again, part two. We waited till 1 a.m. to try this one. Hopefully it pans out right this time. Hi, I ordered off this app. Well, it's actually the one on Boylston, but they were closed down. Give me a second, man. All right, thank you. All right, secure the bags. We had to wait till 1 a.m. to get El Jefe's. Late night eats, you know what I mean? They were cool about it. We got four bowls. Our two friends who were with us earlier are not here with us now, so. More food for me. It's four dollars per order for a total of sixteen dollars. Looks good though. Everything's the same thing, consistent. Gains, baby, gains. Gonna get big this winter. I'm not gonna eat all this because it's late as hell, and I'm not trying to get that fat. This app is gonna definitely help keep your wallets fat, but I'm trying to keep my waist, you know, down low. This one's a steak bowl with rice, beans, pico de gallo. This one right here is chicken. Everything the same thing. Got yellow rice. You got some lettuce, pico de gallo, chicken, some cheese in there, beans. So this is what they did. They gave us two beef two chicken four dollars that's better than any chipotle bowl i will say that i'm gonna say chipotle don't put enough meat in there like arby says we have the meat so it's better off you go to a local mom and pop shop you know support your local eateries you know they'll give you better food and it's cheaper pollo y carne asada comida es muy bueno i haven't learned spanish since high school but this food made me remember my spanish again that's how good it was donde esta la biblioteca All right, so the next spot we were checking out is number one taste, which is a Chinese takeout restaurant because I was craving that. It's a rainy day, so you know, it's good for some comfort food, some Americanized Chinese food, fake Chinese food. Hello? Yeah. Oh, shoot! 
It is pouring out. And you know, what more do you want on a rainy day than some hot takeout Chinese food? And I'm not talking about traditional Chinese food. Sorry to my grandpa. Secure the mother effing bag. You wanna check this bag out? It was four bucks, mind you that. It looks like they gave me Singapore noodles. Definitely a generous amount of Singapore noodles. Some fried rice. Oh, it's um, pork fried rice. You know what I noticed? Thank you, no utensils, no forks, no chopsticks, no duck sauce, no soy sauce. Luckily in the Chinese household, we already got some chopsticks on deck. All right, now we're gonna try the Singapore noodles. Thin rice noodles with curry in it, has bean sprouts, chicken, pork as well, some shrimp, some shrimp. It's one of my favorite noodle dishes too. Mm-hmm. 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 This is hefty too. It's got weight to it. You like you pick it up, you go, oh shit. Feel this. Feel it. Oh shit. Takeout Chinese fried rice always brown. Everyone always like let's eat healthy and eat brown rice. This brown rice right here. This is healthy for you. It's gonna clear your skin. It's gonna clean your sinuses. In Chinese, we have something called eat hay, and that's when you have toxins in your body and all that. This brown rice is gonna clean you right up. Don't worry about that the struggles of trying to eat rice with chopsticks. This fried rice got onions, some pork. I got some chicken in it too. I normally eat my fried rice with some duck sauce. They didn't give me duck sauce. Luckily, we got the duck sauce with the hot mustard in there on deck. Just a reminder, if you go to these places and you pick it up, ask for some sauces or extra utensils just in case. Oh, oh, you want some? You want some? This hefty ass noodle and all this healthy ass brown rice was, get this, $3.99. Now this place closes at nine. The time said to pick up is 8.45 to 9.15 and we're here at like 9.10, so I'm scared. I'm not gonna be able to eat dinner tonight. Hello, uh, I ordered from this app. Yes. Oh, thank you. So we're gonna go home right now because I'm freaking hungry. We'll see when we get home what it is. Whew, all right, fifth night, we got Indian food. I was craving Indian food. We got it. This is sizable for $5. This is more on the pricier side of what we've ordered so far. If you were to get this by itself, one curry alone with the rice, probably $15. No utensils, no Bev, but we're gonna make it work. Did you already make this joke? Oh yeah, fall off the bone. Again, $5 for all this. I mean, you can tell it's nicely cooked because like the meat is falling apart. My throat just made noises because it's so good. I freaking love, love Indian food. Top three favorite foods of all time for sure. I had to cool myself off. That meal was too hot. Okay, but answer the question. Where'd you get that? Do you just keep that in your pocket? Oh, I didn't see you guys there. All right, we're at our next location. We're at a supermarket. If you didn't know, this app actually allows you to get groceries for cheap because, you know, things in markets go bad too, so they want to get rid of it. This market was actually $3.29 for our back groceries. The only thing is, restaurant, you just ask for someone. I don't know who to ask here for it, and it's a Chinese supermarket, so I'm not the best with Chinese, so I'm really nervous. I don't know what to do. Like, my extent of Chinese is ordering dim sum. Surprise back here was $3.29. That was the cheapest location out of all the restaurants and markets that we're going to see what they give us and of course we're in the sauce aisle because your boy saucy, saucy. Bro, they just give me a fat fish hey yo what the hello i ordered from this 
Oh, thank you, thank you. Secured the bag. I'm gonna bring this to my grandparents. They're gonna love it. They just gave me a whole bag of fruit. Apples and mad oranges. Just paid $3.29. Get a whole bag of fruit. One apple a day keeps the doctor away. We got apples for days and oranges, which is good luck in Chinese. Not only are we healthy, we're gonna have good luck. All for $3.29. I'm gonna give these to my grandparents. They're gonna think I paid mad money for these fruits. But really, I only paid $3.29 for them. I'm gonna be their favorite grandson in no time. Sir, the fruit man is in town. These are definitely not the prettiest looking oranges, but. Oh, oh bitch. So a total of 21 fruits, 12 oranges, nine apples. The only thing to do now is to peel these oranges and cut these apples. Only thing is I don't have a knife. I don't know where I'm gonna. Hey, yo, yo, what the hell? Where'd you get that from? I keep it in my pocket. It's kind of ashy. Like Kevin Durant. <laughs> these apples like Kevin Durant. That's a good apple. You want them? There you go. Yum, 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 yum. If it's good enough for a dog, it's good enough for you. See how good this orange is. It actually looks pretty good, right? Common misconception about this app. You think it's all unhealthy fried foods. The cheapest thing you can get, 329, you get all this fruit. Okay, we're at our last location. We're at Twins Donuts, which is a locally owned Cambodian donut shop. I feel like the whole premise and the inspiration behind this app and this video was leftover donuts. And I feel like what better way to end this video than to get some donuts from a locally owned donut shop. And it's the only shop that we went to that was in the middle of the day. As you can see, it's bright out. Every other place we went to, it was pitch dark out, pitch black out. Maybe it's different when you go during the day when restaurants close earlier in the day, maybe they change their portions. It'll be interesting to see that aspect of it. So let's check it out. How you doing? Uh, order for pickup for the, from this app? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Take it easy. Hey, you too. Happy New Year's. All right, yo, we just got twin donuts. This is the only place where they already had the bag ready for us. Man, they gave me a whole smorgasbord of donuts too. It is greasy too, it's my type. This is so hefty that it ripped to the bag. So hefty they gave us two bags. We got one Kevin Durant donuts is what I like to call them. Uh, another sugar donut. Oh, shoot. I think it's a glazed donut, but it's twisted different. They had fun with this one. Another glaze, a pan au chocolat. I call it a uh, croissant with chocolate in it. They gave us plain donut. Another one of these, two more twisty color donuts. Another one of these plain donuts. 11 donuts for the price of $4. This was probably, would you say, was this the best deal that we've gotten so far. It's the most food that we got. One more, I'm off the stuff for good, all right? What's up everybody? So after a week of ordering from the Too Good To Go app, here are my final impressions and pros and cons and takeaways from the app. The biggest pro is that is super cheap. On average, I spent around three to five dollars per meal. So you save hella money on a lot of food, which goes into my next pro. You have huge portions, so much so that I found myself having leftovers for the next day. Another big pro is a lot of people would be probably concerned about the freshness of the food. It might be cold or what are they gonna do, microwave it or it's rotten or whatever. Every time I got food from this app, it was all fresh and warm. Another pro is that it is vegetarian and vegan friendly. It definitely has vegetarian and vegan options. Another pro is that it is an easy to use app. It's very simple. The first time I used it was day one and it was really easy to use. I got the hang of it pretty quick. Another pro is that you're supporting local businesses. Most of the restaurants and businesses and markets on the app are local. And of course, the main factor behind this app is that you decrease food waste, which is of course a big pro of the app. And of course it being a relatively new app, there are going to be some cons to it. What I found was a few of the times there was a lack of communication between the restaurant and the app. What I mean by that is sometimes the restaurant would be closed, but the restaurant would still be listed as an option on the app. So you would order it from the app and then you go to the restaurant and you would find out that they're closed. Then you got to get a refund or you got to go the next day and then explain it to the people. That really is a hassle because it goes into my next con is a lot of these restaurants are a little bit out of the way 
away. You gotta go at least 10 plus minutes to find a restaurant. And it's at inconvenient times too. We're talking late hours, like after dinner, like after eight o'clock, after 10 o'clock, sometimes even after 12 a.m. Definitely not good for you intermittent fasters if you don't wanna eat past a certain time, like eight o'clock. While it is good for vegan vegetarian people, it's not entirely good for people who are picky eaters or have dietary restrictions. Cause of course some people might be lactose intolerant, allergic to peanuts, and you can't really control what goes in it as whatever's left over. In the future, I'd like to see an option so restaurants can filter out what ingredients they use so people won't be worried about that. And of course, since you're going at the end of the restaurant's work day, the food is very limited. Most restaurants have five surprise bags a day. Some restaurants definitely sell out quick, but you can order the day before. Also, it doesn't seem like drinks are included with the app, which is fine. You're ordering it for food unless you order from a drink specific restaurant, like a smoothie shop or a juice shop or a boba shop, you really get no bev with it. And another really big con is that this app is really only in bigger cities. I went to my grandparents' house who live in the middle of nowhere, the boonies, and I tried to order from the app. There was no options. The app is really only in major cities. But I'm sure as the app grows, that'll change. Overall, I really like the app, other than the fact that some of the restaurants were closed and they didn't communicate that to the app or me, and other than the fact that the restaurants are far away and it's at inconvenient times. You really do get big portions for the price you pay, and you, you can't really complain about that. It'll fill you up, you limit food waste while your pockets stay fat, and you support your local businesses. It's a win-win-win. So would I recommend this app? Absolutely yes. Honestly speaking, I'm gonna use this app after this video. Hey man, too good to go app, try it out. Yeah. All right, guys, that concludes the video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know, will you be using this Too Good To Go app? I definitely recommend it. And if you're not in a city where it has it, then I'm sure as the app grows, you'll get it in your city eventually. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Until next time, we're out. Peace.